Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about converting ER diagram to tables. We all know what is ER diagram. ER diagram means entity relationship diagram. By using this diagram we can easily understand the complexities of real world environment. So converting ER diagrams into table is a simple process by using mathematical theory. So that theory is called relational theory. The following are the three specifications used to convert ER diagrams into tables. So, these three conversions we use chesi, specifications we use chesi, ER diagram ni tables lo ki convert chestam. First one is strong entity set, weak entity set and associative entity set. So, let's see one by one. First one strong entity set. A strong entity is an entity whose existence does not dependent on other entity. So, here one entity does not dependent on any other entity and the entity which contain primary key is known as strong entity. Primary key is nothing but which is used to identify uniquely each record in the table. So, table on the prati record ni unique ga identify cheyadan ki ek key aithe use avutundo e attribute aithe use avutundo dani manamu primary key antam so alanti primary key unna entity ni strong entity antaru so these are the stuff we need to use to convert er diagram into table strong entity into table the name of the strong entity treated as table name so strong entity ki edaithe name untundo aa name is table name avutundi for example, student is a strong entity, I think the table name is student. Employee is strong entity, so employee is table name. Okay, next the simple attributes and derived attributes are treated as columns. Okay, simple attribute means atomic values. Okay, atomic values are not any simple attributes and derived attributes. Those are derived from one more attribute. So, here derived attribute is nothing but the attribute which is derived from other attribute is known as derived attribute. Okay, for example, if you want to find out the age of one person, we need to know the date of birth. Okay, so data uh, age and attribute ki value tells call and the date of birth and attribute me the depend I on the so alante attributes ni derived attributes and taru. Next, so alante simple attributes and derived attributes and ni kuda columns laga treat chestam okay and the key attribute is treated as columns and as primary key okay key attribute is treated as column okay as well as primary key for the table next if a strong entity contains composite attributes okay so composite attribute is nothing but the attribute which is divided into sub components okay so alanti attributes components and sub components and kuda columns laga treat chest them next ignore multi-valued attributes at this stage so we need to ignore all the multi-valued attributes in the strong entity so let's see the example so this is a strong entity because it contain primary key employee number is the primary key by using employee number we can easily identify each employee okay here the attributes are employee number employee name employee date of birth address employee door number district and email so here employee number is key attribute and address is composite attribute and email is multi-valued attribute here the entity name is employee so strong entity name is the table name so table name is employee and all single valued attributes and derived attributes are the columns for table okay so here this is the table converting er diagram into table okay so here employee number is the primary key because it is a key attribute in the er diagram so it is primary key and employee name date of birth door number district name so all all other attributes are columns so here multi-valued attribute email is multi-valued attribute because one employee contain many emails multiple values so employee email is multi-valued attribute so you need to ignore the multi-valued attributes in this stage so multi-valued attributes and you could ignore chayali. so multi-valued attributes though separate table ni create chayali. 
so in the table only primary key and multi valued attributes are columns okay so employee number and email this is one more table okay so in this way we convert strong entity into tables next weak entity weak entity is nothing but the entity whose existence depends on other entity in other words the entity which does not contain any primary key is known as weak entity okay so here the steps we need to follow to convert weak entity into tables the name of the weak entity will be treated as name of the table simple attributes and derived attributes will be treated as columns the key attributes are treated as primary key okay so these three steps are same as strong entity next fourth one if the primary key of strong entity is present in weak entity then it is treated as columns and as foreign key okay so let's see the example so this is the example here employee is a strong entity because it contain primary key and dependent is weak entity because it does not contain any primary key okay dependent number dependent name dependent um, date of birth employee number okay so employee has dependent is the relation strong entity is represented by single rectangle and weak entity is represented by double rectangle okay so we need to convert this into tables weak entity into tables so weak entity name is table name that is dependent table and all single valued attributes and derived attributes are the columns okay so here dependent number is one column employee number dependent name date of birth are the columns so in this table dependent number is treated as primary key okay and employee number is treated as foreign key okay next associative entity associative entity is nothing but the connections associative entities are the connections that describes the relationship between two entities two entities madhye what type of relation and it describes just the dani associative entity antaru so first one the name of the associative entity will be treated as the table name the simple and derived attributes are treated as columns the key attributes are treated as columns and primary key okay so these are the common steps fourth one if the primary key of other entities are present in associative entity then these are treated as columns and as foreign key here foreign key is a column or combination of columns whose values matches with primary key of another table so it is usually used to link two tables together so foreign key means oka table lo unna column inkoka table lo unna columns tho values match cheyite alanti attribute ni foreign key antaru okay so let's see the example for associative entity so this is associative entities so here this is customer table uh, entity and this is product entity these two entities are strong entities because customer entity contain customer number so by it is a key attribute by using customer number we can easily identify each customer uniquely and next product number product number is also one key attribute by using product number we can easily identify each product okay next customer entity contains some attributes those are customer number customer name customer door number district okay product also contains uh, some attributes uh, those are product number product name and product manufacturer date okay next associative entity associative entity is connection used to describe the relationship between two entities so ikkada ee associative entity is order ee entity two tables madhya two entities madhya relationship ni represent chestundi okay that is many to many relationship one customer order many products and many products are ordered by one customer so associative entity establish between two entities those relationship is many to many relationship okay so here order entity contains some attributes those are customer number next product number and order number 
so here order number is the primary key for order entity okay so associative entity ni normal ga ee symbol tho represent chestaru okay rectangle rhombus symbol tho represent chestaru okay so if you want to convert this entity into uh, tables you need to follow those steps those are whatever the associative entity name it is the table name so here the table name is ordered table and order number is the primary key next customer number product number those are the foreign key okay so foreign key means it is attribute or combination of attributes whose values are matches with primary key of another table so here customer number and product number are the primary keys of another entities okay so indulo unna customer number indulo unna customer number match avutay alage indulo unna product number indulo unna product number tho match avutundi so ila values match aithe those are called foreign key okay so customer number product number are the foreign keys next order date and order time are the other columns so ila strong entity ni tables loki alage weak entity ni tables loki associative entity ni tables loki convert chestam okay so total er diagram ni convert cheyalante er diagram is developed by using entities attributes and relationships so those are strong entities and weak entities associative entities so individual ga ela convert cheyalante telusukunnam so alage oka er diagram ni easy ga manam table loki convert cheyachu by using these steps okay so ee video ganaka meeku nachinatlayite please like and subscribe thank you for watching